There we go. Congratulations tonight. What a, I mean, your voice is incredible. Let's, let's jump in and talk about that first. Uh, you know, kind of discovering your sound, who you are as an artist, and kind of like getting to know like what your vocal ranges are and what you can and can't do. Like, what was that like for you? Um, well, one, I mean, I'm not just a singer, I'm a rapper, I'm an entertainer, and I really got my start in college. I mean, you're looking at the product of Philly, somebody who knows the hustle, the grind. Like, I spent $3,000 that I had saved up, the last penny that I had to get my equipment just so that I can learn how to teach myself and record in the studio, figuring out what is my rap voice like, what is my singing voice like. But I put in that work, I'm a product of Philly, and I'm here, and I'm just trying to show people my sound, which is gritty, which is unapologetic, which is about love, and that's all that I accomplished tonight by performing Plenty Love, which is for the world, because we all need love to heal. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So what was it about this song that you felt was the right song for this for this show, and you know, what really kick-started that writing process for you? Well, Plenty Love is actually a couple years old, believe it or not. Wow. So that was the most challenging part about being on the show, was picking the song. Yeah. And no matter what I did, I kept coming back to plenty love because I knew if I was going to be on a stage in front of millions of Americans what else am I going to talk about but love yeah. it's very timely that we all need love and healing to come together and of course I lost my mother last year and I, I know that her me being on a stage she would want me to say something that has a message and that's all that I'm about as an artist I have a message I have something to say I have something to share so I hope I did my city proud I hope I did my mom proud and I hope everybody watching is Super proud of me and just in love with Plain Love. There you go. <laughs> now, as far as the song, you mentioned you've had it for some time. So, you know, from that original time that you wrote it to what we listen to today, how much of a, of a rewrite or how much of a, like, reconstruction did it go through? Absolutely nada. It was just ready to go. You... I wrote that song, like, years ago. Yeah. Um, wrote it years ago. And the idea in mind was like a heal the world, kind of a, a needing to point out all the chaos. Like, can we be better mothers, better daughters, better sisters, better brothers? Like, God, do you see any hope and in, in love in anybody anymore? Because we all need love in order to heal. Yeah. Plenty of love. Yeah. Timeless. Timeless. I love it. And look at that. Four years later, and now I'm performing it here. Who would have thought? There you go. Who would have thunk? Best debut ever. Exactly. <laughs> Who are you telling me? You're telling me. Yeah. <laughs> and congratulations also because uh, with the signing of Atlantic Records. So like being able to be an artist with such a major label that has so many incredible artists as well that, you know, we all kind of grew up listening to or got inspired by. Like, how does that kind of fuel your fire? How does it fuel my fire? Honestly, being with Atlantic Records has been so amazing. Even being on that roster and being with some of the heavy hitters makes me feel so incredible. I mean, I'm coming from Philly. I'm coming from the home of the greats like Jasmine Sullivan, Jill Scott, Black Thought, Eve, Left Eye, you name it. So to even be considered not just in Atlanta's category, but from Philly's category as like one of those artists that's putting on for her city, that, that makes me... I don't know. I just got this little tingly feeling on my chest. I'm like, do you even need to audition? You just just come right in. No, 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 no. <laughs> Everybody got to audition. You got to prove your prove. You know, work for your stuff. But I'm I'm very happy to be here and be getting that recognition. Snoop said he loved it. Kelly Clarkson said yeah. she loved it. And I'm just like, man, if they say I'm hot, I gotta be hot. <laughs> so lastly, you know, with your performance tonight, what do you what would you say was your strongest point, and what would you say was your your biggest challenge? Um. Well. Let's start with the biggest challenge. Um, this is my first time on TV. So this is my first time doing the production, um, having it like this. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I was very, very, very nervous. Like I imagine everybody else was. Um, but the biggest thing that went well for me is that Besides those nerves, I really just sat into the moment of the message of Plenty Love and what I had to share, and that helped me focus and get that through and push through for that. So I was able to overcome that. So I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm happy with myself right now. <laughs> so I'm just living this moment. Well, congratulations. I look forward to checking you out again soon, and hopefully I'll see you back on this carpet soon. Appreciate you. Vote for me. <laughs> <laughs>